Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we're going to be creating a Grian inspired speed sanctuary. For, so for those of you who do not know who Grian is, well then I'm surprised you know who I am first. But yes, Grian is an absolute massive YouTuber uh, who has created some incredible builds and is just very well known for his building skills. Um, and right here we have a build that is heavily inspired by his barge build. For anyone who watches his Hermitcraft series, you will have seen a similar build to this. Pretty much even, it's pretty much the same almost. It's, uh, it's a lot smaller. Uh, I've gone with the same palette and tried to keep exactly the same and kind of create this barge um, bee sanctuary instead. So I went with like a bee sanctuary and he created it for like a giant shop. Um, well, it started off as a very small shop, which then expanded into quite a large uh, shop. So for anyone who hasn't watched the Hermitcraft series by Green, I would definitely 100% recommend watching it. It's a very good uh, little series to watch. Um, so I'll leave a link to his channel and everything in the description because this is 100% inspired by him. And um, yeah, it's one of those that I'm not going to take credit for. I'm just using a kind of design that he came up with and I thought was really cool and I thought why not make it into a bee sanctuary it looks perfect for it the only downside to this is, is it's very small on the inside um, due to the fact that we have a layer of glass on the inside but no, apart from that there's not too big of a problem with this um, I think you could use it for quite a lot and it can come out looking pretty well other than that you could probably use it for a nice little area to store some crops um, but yeah it's really up to you what you do with it I'm going to show you how to build it and yeah once again huge thanks for the inspiration from Green and kind of just using his um, ability to create awesome structures and uh, make my own bee sanctuary out of his barge HQ which I thought was pretty cool so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy this and uh, let's jump into this video So as you can see on screen here, we have the block palette that we are using. So we've got dark oak uh, gate, dark oak fence, dark oak stair, dark oak slab, dark oak plank. Uh, we've got some brown concrete, some light green, uh, light gray stained glass. That's a mouthful. A button uh, of pretty much spruce or you could use any kind, I guess. Um, a lantern, grass block and a trapdoor. Now these four here are mostly for just a bit of detailing later on. Your main blocks are going to be all here. So we're going to start off with our first part of the build. Now this first part is pretty simple and it's just going to require you to copy this all the way around. So we're going to head up by two with the brown concrete. So let's do that for both sides. Then a dark oak plank. And then we're going to head up another two with the dark oak plank, which then should give you this very large structure. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six height. Now that is quite massive, in bearing in mind. That is uh, pretty big. I'm not going to lie to you right there. But it is something that is doable. If we look at this one over here, um, exactly the same. It is one, two, three, four, five. And obviously you have the sixth one there. So very tall. Um, you're going to basically repeat this for all these blocks here. So we could do this all the way around. That will save a bit of time later on if you want to. Um, that might be something I would do first before I continue showing the roof. But we're going to copy and paste the roof design all the way around. And you'll see what I mean by that later on. So I'm just going to show that for example. Uh, but head into this more in depth now. So we're going to start off with the first bit. And what we're going to actually do is put a stair here. A stair there. And then we're going to flick it backwards. So we're going to do exactly the same on the side. And hopefully you guys don't get lost. Because I seem to suck at explaining how to build roofs. Um, so we're going to have a nice, easy, simple staircase that heads up like this. Now from here, you're going to get a brown concrete block and a brown concrete block there. Grab a slab block. Uh, place that on top. That on top. Then a slab block underneath and a slab block underneath. Then place one, two, one, two, like so. Then you're going to get a stair block. Are we going to go two? Maybe three. Uh, I believe it's two. We get, we're going to go two. Uh, stair block and then like so. And then a middle block of a stair. And then above that one, two, three. Uh, you could go four, but I'm going to go with three. Um, if you look at these, a lot of these will be taller than others um, so it's up to you but yeah go free but place the top one with a stair and basically this is going to be your main kind of roof design here now on this middle section if we look at the other one you can cross it over with some stair designs so we can have something like that looks like this uh so it just heads across and it fills in that little bit of gap that we've got going on there uh, something simple as that you know easy done now what we're going to do is paste this kind of frame on this part here so we're going to have one on here we're going to have one, that, so one that goes from here to here, and then one that goes from here to here, and from over here to this one as well. So I'm going to quickly show you what that will look like. 
So you can see on screen now, I've copied this first one and I've placed it on this cross section here. I've got one on that one there and this one over here. They're exactly the same design as that one. So once you put the first one, all you need to do is replicate that across it. Uh, for this one, it's probably the only different one that isn't really the different, it just looks weird. Uh, where you build up from here, you'll have it extended one inwards here. And obviously these extend one out as well. The same with the front. It's exactly the same. Uh, just make sure you build the pillars on this part here. So if you build the T out of the wall that I've done, it will be so simple for you guys. All you have to do is follow along. Now from here, you can connect all of these up like so. And then let's grab this one and head over here like so as well. Now because this is here, we don't actually need that. Um, on this one here and we don't need it on the here either which I didn't actually do which is absolutely fine you only need to connect up these parts here and just basically go around connecting the whole roof together because right now we basically have these frames that just aren't connected um, and it is going to take you a long a bit longer to do if you don't kind of you know go ahead and connect these we are going to have to make some more of these pillars which is the only kind of downside to these uh, but they will be placed in this center point from here uh, no from about I'm going to go from one from probably one to two. We're going to have one here and then we have one uh, maybe even there. So we can have one that crosses that way. No, we're probably going to have one just on the opposite side here. So we're going to have someone like this and one like this and right there. That's where we're going to have our next ones. So I'm going to quickly build these in. Once again, they're exactly the same as this. Uh, they're just here, here, here and here. And yeah, I'll jump cut to that because it's just going to be me building the same thing on repeat. Now, once you've added these in, they will look exactly like this. All you would need to do is just knock down one block down from them, and that will give you the slightly lowered result that we're looking for here. Um, however, I would probably um, leave it looking like this, and then you could maybe put a stair on top of this one. If we're going to copy my previous design, so we can have a nice little raised part here, and then obviously, as you see over there, you got a nice little slab design that kind of goes across the center point here, so we can have something like a slab. A um, not something like that. that that just went horribly wrong so a slab a stair if or we do it on this lower part here do it here right um you basically there that's the point you want to be at then we can copy this kind of design across like so and then in the middle we just have a raised block like so um, that gives you a similar design to this one you can really play around with them as much as you want and have, create your own designs it's up to you how you feel um, so I'm just going to rotate these stairs to face backwards like that. That's all I'm going to do for that. And that's going to look a lot better. Now the next part is pretty simple. We're going to get that light stained glass which is down here. And all we're going to do is fill in this inside which is here. Now you're going to fill in here, here and around all of this. And we're just going to fill it up to the top of the roof. Which is a kind of just a long process. Um, this front part you can fill up like so like that and we're going to fill it up to this height all the way around now it's really up to you what kind of glass you want you could go for a light stained gray you could go for white um they would just give you slight different results the white one is quite nice as it does bring out build and make it very bright you could probably use them on different layers if you wish uh, but yes i'm going to keep it with the light stain and i'm going to go all the way around and i'm not going to make you guys watch me place a million blocks because it's absolutely pointless uh, all i'm doing is placing blocks as you can see if we go into this one i'm just going around and placing blocks all the way around here and as well um, for this one here i've actually got a little slab kind of thing that goes around um, which i will show you guys later on that's fine and I've accidentally destroyed some crops but yeah i'll quickly fill this in for you guys and i'll jump back when i'm done now once we've filled in all this glass you're going to get this gap between and it's going to look pretty horrible um, just a simple way of fixing that is just grab a block then grab a stair block and kind of just repeat this design all the way around like so um, it will just give you a nice little effect and now across here we can just place slabs if you want to that will give you this nice little way wave in it um, but i would probably add pieces like this into it uh, or maybe just fill it in fully so you can place the gates and things later on and just make your life a lot simpler so i'm going to do with um, planks instead so if we knock those out and we'll fill those with planks you can fill these with planks too if you wish um, but the stairs just give a slight bit of you know slight bit of design to it and makes it look a slightly bit different which is perfectly fine so we can have something that looks like this and then we're going to do the same all the way around once again but for these i'm just going to place uh, full blocks because they're next to stairs anyway something like this can have stairs in it if you wish like so um, and then we do full blocks here full block there 
all the there, there. And then this is looking all pretty tidy now. And we can just head around the top of this with some slabs. And just fill in this top section here. But you don't really need the stairs on the outside design. It's really up to you. They will get covered by the slabs. I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. And that's just how I built it. Um, so we could have even for this part here if we wanted to we could get rid of these blocks which you don't have to and uh, we can use them for slabs as well um, once again it's up to you how you want to roll with this um, and you can cross this part here we're going to put glass in here later on and we'll do exactly the same for this here now from here we're just going to go one gap between and fill in these spots like so and then we'll do the same on this side here this kind of seems like a bit of a mess. I'm building it as I go. Um, and this build I've only made a few times. So I'm trying to get it right for you guys. And hopefully make it as easy as possible. But now this bottom section is basically done. You've got a bit of gate filling later on. We're going to jump onto the roof. Now the roof is very simple. Uh, you just fill across here with glass. Fill across here with glass. Then you fill across here. And here. Then once you get up to here. You're going to fill this middle section in like so. And then you can get some glass panes. Um, which actually I forgot to get these light ones and you can fill across the top here now you can have someone that looks like this which is basically the exact same to this so this one has a one one two then a one and then a you know glass thing which is exactly the same as we got one one two one and then glass paint across the top and then we're going to repeat this on this side too um, so we're going to head across like so like so two all the way across and then obviously that's already met at the top. Uh, this middle part is probably really going to be your hardest part. Apart from that, it's relatively simple. You're just going to come across like so and just curve it round into this one. So we're going to match the pillars like so. And then round here. And these all these pillars are just going to line up perfectly. Um, and obviously this is too high. And it goes to one here. And then from this one section, we can add in a nice glass pane underneath. Um, so yes, nothing too fancy here. Pretty simple. Um, and we can have something that looks like this. You can even place a glass in the corner there if you wish. It's up to you. Um, it doesn't look that much better. I'd probably leave it personally. Um, but we can have that. And in this top section, just fill it with glass panes. And repeat this all the way around your build. Um, and it's going to be basically your roof complete. And you're near enough there. This build is very simple compared to um, a lot of the builds I've done actually. It feels a lot easier than um, I actually when I first came to building it it was very very um difficult maybe it's because I was trying to work out how he built it but we got there in the end and it does look good um so just filling in these is quite a simple design once again go check out green for this inspiration on this build I uh, kind of used his barge design to create a nice bee sanctuary and I would like to give him full credit for this so you know feel free to go check him out he is an absolute incredible YouTuber. The building talent that he has is amazing. And his just general content creation is brilliant. So once again, highly would recommend watching Green, especially if you're new to Minecraft. Um, it's just very fun to watch and will keep you in that mood of playing the game. Um, that doesn't need to be there. I don't know why that's there. Um, I think I just placed that as a placeholder earlier. So for anyone who's wondering why I placed the stairs like that, don't actually you know build them from this point. You want to build them from this bottom point here. Um, that probably should have been said earlier because now I've probably confused a few people but it's fine this glass is all done now as you can see here we're just missing the simple touches of the gates uh, so let's grab these gates here and we're just going to cross them on the top now this is probably the most tedious point um, i actually forgot the glass pane on here but it does work it's just a bit tedious and um you know not not fun at all because you have to kind of place it on the um the glass pane which does take a bit of bit of getting used to as you can see there i placed it on the wrong point um, and yeah, that is done for the roof. Next thing I'd grab is the lantern while you're up on the roof and just fill in these three slots here. Nice and simple one. And you can even grab the buttons that we have on the floor, which I was using with spruce. You just go around this top part here and this top part here. Um, you can do it on these sides as well if you wish. It's up to you how you want to do it. I'll do it for the sake of this video. Um, like so, and like so. Here and here. Did I miss this side? miss this one here and we're looking very good up top uh, down here we're going to do the same on these corners like here 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 and you don't want to put them on the other side so like in here because it's going to interrupt with um, some of your builds so for example you can actually do it on some of them so probably the raised points um, these lower points aren't going to be too good for you um, so I'm going to probably uh, what would I do so 
playing the yeah i'm gonna i might leave that i'll just fill it in for the sake of it and if i have to get rid of it i'll get rid of it later on but what you're gonna do is head around and just place buttons on these corners like so and round here try not to forget any because i've done that a few times like so uh not there we want it there and we want it down here 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 here, here, here. As you can see, this build is quite tedious. It's very just like same old placing things, um, and you have to just re repeat it by placing quite a lot of them. Um, but it does come out looking very good. So if you're willing to put the time and effort in to create it, then you will have a nice little kind of bee, bee farm, bee sanctuary, whatever you want to call it, crop farm. Just a nice little bee inspired little building. Uh, this front piece you can just fill in with whatever you like. So I'm just going to fill it in with full blocks, like so. There we are. That's filled in. Um, same over here. Just filled in like that. And then the next part is pretty simple. You grab this. You grab your fence, which oh, I don't know what I'm typing in. It's on the floor in front of me. And you're going to go and just fill in these. So we're going to head down here, like so, across here. And we're going to repeat this all the way around now. Uh, and once again, it's tedious, but it's how the job is done. Um, so like so. And down here, like so, like so. Repeat this all the way around like so and around here now for the sake of this video i will not be adding the beehives in the middle i'll go and show you the previous one I mean, it's just very you know up to you how you want to do it it's quite a small space you can really use it how you want but i just place scaffoldings with the beehives on them and i'll show you that later on uh, once we finish this little piece of the build so like so and you just want to keep these all at the same height and there we are and there we are almost done simple once again a lot of copy and pasting basically is how this build is made um, it's very very you know similar all the way around the same with the roof the same with the, everything it's like once you built one thing you kind of know how to build the rest of it so that's done um it's you know these blocks here that i usually change to polish andesite all the way around um that makes it look a lot better for example i've done it over here i'll just give you a quick glimpse of that just here and then um we're going to finish on the outside so what i'm going to do is empty my inventory grab the lanterns grass box spruce trap doors and then we're going to have some flowers so we're going to go one two and then we'll go three now these are just simple you can place these wherever we want we can have them on the front like so and then on here if you want you can have them here as well um, i might actually keep the buttons in here and just have one going all the way around like so and like so uh, when I can actually close the door there we are I'm missing a button there once again don't miss those I keep doing it uh, I'm just not sure why and then we just go around filling these in make these look as cool as you want you could add leaves roses whatever you want make them look as cool and as you know unique as you want to make them and then once you've done that you can just add in some lighting by just going to these points and just adding some lanterns which is very easy simple and will give you a bit of you know a bit of light on this build as so we don't want more spawning on it and there we are we are done this build is complete there's not much else to it uh, you can add a front door onto it obviously to stop your bees getting out um so let's add a dark oak door uh, once again you can you know place these polished andesite blocks all the way around but yeah it's looking great and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll quickly give you a glimpse of this one over here so as you can see here all i've done is add this all the way around i also have a planks underneath the glass floor um it's up to you if you want to do that or not um and everything else is the same uh, inside all i've done is place different kind of floors i've got pods all grass blocks uh, path blocks course the scaffolding with the beehive on top if you want place the beehive on the floor campfire underneath you can happily easily farm those and then you've got some flowers and things food flowers yeah food that i'm growing to kind of you know help speed up the growth of the food it's very small uh, but it looks massive on the outside small on the inside massive outside but it does look very cool so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you all very soon you know once again don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe it really does help me out if you enjoyed this video and peace